we know that if Rn is the nominal interest rate per annum compounded n times per year, then the effective annual interest rate denoted by Re equals 1 plus the nominal interest rate divided by m to the power m minus 1. So if nominal interest rate equals 10% per annum compounded quarterly, then the effective annual interest rate equals 1 plus 10% divided by 4, all this to the power 4 minus 1, which equals 10.38%. On the other hand, if nominal interest rate Rn equals 10% per annum with monthly compounding, then the effective annual interest rate equals 1 plus 10% divided by 12, all this to the power 12 minus 1. And this equals 10.47%. So we have seen that as compounding frequency M increases, the effective annual interest rate also increases. Question is, what happens to effective annual interest rate as M approaches infinity? This is the case of continuous compounding. So limit as M approaches infinity, the effective annual interest rate equals limit as M approaches infinity, 1 plus the nominal interest rate divided by M, all this to the power M minus 1 which equals exponential of the nominal rate of interest Rn minus 1. We can easily prove this using basic calculus. So if the nominal interest rate Rn equals 10% per annum, the effective annual interest rate with continuous compounding equals exponential of 0.1 minus 1, which equals 10 point five two percent. Let's suppose you borrow a hundred dollars from a bank for two years and the bank charges you interest rate of five percent on this loan with continuous compounding. Question is what is the amount of money that you will owe back to the bank at the end of two years? So the future value of this loan repayment equals a hundred dollars times the exponential of 0 0.05 or 5 percent times 2 which equals 110.52 dollars. Now let's take another example. Suppose you expect to receive 500 dollars in three years. And the appropriate discount rate is 8% per annum with continuous compounding. Question is, what is the present value today of this $500 payment that you expect to receive in three years time? So the present value equals $500 discounted back at the rate of 8% over three years. And this equals 393.31 dollars. So finally, we can generalize the argument as follows. If P is the principal amount today that you intend to invest or borrow for T years at a continuously compounded rate, of RC per annum, then the future value of this principal amount at the end of T years equals P times the exponential of RC times T. Similarly, if X is the 
final amount that you expect to receive or repay at the end of T years. And the appropriate discount rate is RC per annum. Then the present value of the final amount equals X times the exponential of negative RC times T. So we have learned how to calculate effective annual interest rate with continuous compounding if we're given nominal interest rate. We have also covered how present value and future value can be computed if interest rate is continuously compounded. If there are any questions or comments, please feel free to post. Thank you.